jurándome que nunca más te iba a tocar Todo por culpa de esas malditas cervezas Con esos labios enfrente que no te besa Porque no fui capaz de... Con una botella me de enredar fácil Caí en las garras de ella Mujer tan bella Everybody, I hope that you guys are having an awesome day And if you guys are new to this channel Don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video And ring the bell so you guys can get notified when I upload a video because I upload pretty much all the time and I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial relating on the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar, Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette which I got from BoxyCharm I didn't do a, you know, a testing on this so I'm gonna be doing that today to see how this palette looks on me if you guys didn't see my BoxyCharm I'll put it down up here so you guys can check it out but this is what the palette looks like and I did swatches on that um, link, so if you guys want to see how it looks, then click the link. The eye over there. So yeah, I'm going to do like a, kind of like a smoky look on this one. It's not like too much going on, it's just very natural type of palette. So if you guys are into that, this is like the right palette for you. I want to start digging into this palette. I'm also going to do like a get ready with me as well because I wanted to, to explain to you guys what's been happening with me. And everything like that and my new channel that i'm actually creating right now so if you guys haven't already go check it out in the eye right here so you guys can subscribe to it to the story time and also do my makeup with you guys and i'm also gonna do a kind of like if i really like this palette or not just like a review on how i think about this so yeah let's just get into the video so the first thing on this palette i just see like so many neutrals so i just go with this one right here as my transition i'm using the lamar um brush from brush which i got from boxy charm so i'm just gonna like just put this as my transition shade it's story time i'm gonna do a story time for y'all so so like last like january i didn't tell you guys about like my relationship in the past so in january I cut off with my relationship, with the person that I was with before, and I know you guys been seeing that on this channel in the past, like my vlogs, the person that I was with. F from that month, um, in January, I cut off the relationship, but me and that person were still friends. We were still just hanging out, you know. It's like okay. so. My story time is basically, um, I broke up with my ex. And it's been like bothering me, bothering me that I'm not telling you guys about my new relationship that's been going on with my life. And people may think that I'm rushing and stuff like that. But technically, the person that I was with before, I, I think I was just like, you know, rushing because I met that person when I was really young. I was like about 19 or 18. But, like, at that time, I was, like, in a toxic relationship before. And I, I used to be friends with this girl. And then she introduced me to, like, a dating website and stuff like that. So I tried it out. So that's where I met my ex and stuff like that. I call him my ex now. The one that you guys see all the time on my channel. So, you know, you guys see a lot of those. If you guys were here for the longest, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, all the videos that I had with him, I delete all my videos. I don't want to keep memories from my past and stuff like that. So I just chose to delete it and just keep it, you know, to myself. Person, you know, I don't know if we're friends or acquaintance or whatever. But, you know, I don't want us to be in bad terms. That's just me. If we never had, like, anything bad with each other, you know, I don't mind being friends. It just depends, you know. But um, right now, I'm technically seeing somebody, and I wanted to share with you guys what's been going on about my relationship, like, new relationship-wise. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm rushing, because I'm not really rushing. It's just that the person that I was before, I was, like, very confused. We're always, like, arguing. And I wanted to just, you know, break it off. And I think it was just the relationship where it's, like, very unhealthy and um, toxic for us. Oh, and so far, I like the way the eyeshadow is going on on my eye. When you use the Cover FX primer with it, it's really, like, it's really good. It's, like, it, it 
it actually applies on eyes very nicely like very like soothing so yeah but i share with you guys about my relationship right now it's been really hectic because you know i don't want to just share it with my relation my new relationship right away i wanted to give it some time and respect for myself because i know people may think some negativity about it because you know people always see me with another person before and now they're seeing me with a new one i'm just saying because you know i wasn't just happy with the person that i was with in the past I felt like I was forcing myself to be happy, but you know, life is just too crazy. No one is perfect. Sometimes, you know, you can't always force yourself to be with someone if you don't love them. So, you, you know, it's either you can be friends with them or you let, you let them go. But that's what I wanted to share with you guys about that with my relationship. So, yes, I'm dating someone new and I hope that... <laughs> So yeah, like if you guys saw my Instagram, I've been posting posting my new relationship with, on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, I have been in a new relationship with, new, with someone else. Um, it's kind of crazy, but yeah. So I'm going to use the um, this one right here just to have that highlight. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys about that. You know, I'm starting in a new relationship. It started like around August 4th, but I didn't want to broadcast that right away. Just want to keep it to myself. You know, it's like your life, you know. You can't really tell people about your life because sometimes you think that they're going to judge you. But, you know, you control your own life. No one controls you but yourself because, you know, I don't care what people think regardless because even though... We're still going to make mistakes, you know, we're going to grow each day as a person. So we just have to accept we, what we are. I like this um brush, it's really nice. But yeah, um, I just wanted to share with you guys about that relationship. Um, we did make a channel together. So it's that's why I told you guys to check it out. If you guys want to watch us do like crazy stuff together, we're just like planning what videos we're gonna do. I'm practically gonna do like a lot of challenge videos, probably maybe pranks or vlogs more likely. Oh shit. So yeah, like, you know, if you guys are interested in joining the journey, then check out the channel. Um, I hope that you guys support me with my new relationship. I really love this person a lot. I feel like he changed me to the better. I feel like he really motivates me to be successful and whatever that I need to achieve in my life. You know, sometimes if it never works, then it's not meant to be. Because if, if you force yourself in a relationship, then you're not going anywhere. Like, you know, you, everyone deserves to be happy, with, but they're in the right way. You can't just fake your happiness and be with someone. You know, that's what I've been doing my whole relationship with the person I was with in the past. And, um, my channel, my new channel. <laughs> so I'm going to apply this blue right here in the middle. The blue one is silver spoon, which I'm going to do right now. I just like dab it, not just like, and then I just go like that. I just like blend it, dab, 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 blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 dab, dab, dab. Inner corners right here. I'm gonna use this brush right here. It's like a different brush. This one was the BH Cosmetics one, and this is just the one that I got from TJ Maxx a long time ago. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. I was just like, Literally focusing on my eye because I thought like I was making a lot of mistakes right now. I just like a bit too much. So yeah, it looks like that. It looks kind of... Oh my god. I don't know how I'm liking this. Look like I just had a black eye or something. Oh no. Apply um this one right here, which is swoop. I 
I'm gonna apply this on my lid for cut crease. So yeah, that's why I've been MIA, if anyone's wondering why. Like, you know, my life goals. I've been focusing on my school and I've been looking for other jobs as well. So just to keep myself really busy. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I feel like it's gonna be like a fail makeup look. But I'm gonna apply a second coat so it can be more volumant. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eyes. It looks crazy. I haven't done makeup in a while, so I've been kinda flunking it a little bit. So bear with me. I'm back. Bad and better. <laughs> What? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna blend it with this one right here. It looks like it's not noticeable, but I'm gonna try with just to blend it a little bit. Go to his brush, the same shade. I'm just gonna dab it. It's like that. Not too bad. It looks really good with the concealer. So I'm going to stick with the concealer. This is really good. The palette. Using this for today. So I don't want to switch it up. And just use as I go. But yeah. Um, that's like my little story time for you guys. Um. Yeah. Any questions? Like, if you guys want to leave a QA and a below, let me know so that I can answer them for y'all. The This one right here. So it looks like that. Looks so much going on. I'm gonna blend this one right here. Yeah. I'm gonna be using the pillow fight one right here. I think I'm gonna darken up my brows, but should I just leave it? This is really nice. You guys see that? It's very like nice. Revlon liquid eyeliner for a change. Just to make sure it looks nice. Once I'm done, I'm just going to use the brow gel right now just to see. So I'm going to be using this one all over my face. Honest, I really like how the eyeshadow palette performed on my eyes. I don't know if it's just the the primer in general or whatever. One is the Clean Oil Control Anti Lucens. This is from CoverGirl Classic Tan Foundation. I'm gonna be trying is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So this is what I'm gonna put on right now. Hopefully this is not gonna go on this. I'm gonna apply this. And then... I always hold my brush like right here because I feel like it, get, it grabs more of the, the product. Like when you're really like 
really digging it in there. It's like, it comes so nicely. You know what I mean? <laughs> Next thing is I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer by Phys Physicians Formula. I'm gonna be using the Studio Contour Palette by Profusion. This is like the best palette. So I'm just gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna just apply like And then I'm going to be using the Pure Bronze and Brighten, I don't know, like a compact palette. So I'm just going to put this one right here, just a little bit. And then just apply that right there. I'm just going to blend it with this right here. So I'm going to be using this one right here in the middle. The middle one is called Afterglow. And I'm just going to slide that under, like in the middle of my nose. And then I'm going to be using this one right here, which is the Blushing Glow. Just a dab, not too much going on. thing I'm going to be using is the mascara one, which is from Maybelline. So I'm going to apply the um, Essence Liner. I'm going to apply this on my lash. Not apply. So I'm going to be curling my lash, my lash line, my lashes. I'm going to be curling my lashes with a curling thingy. So to make it nice and volumized. Like, you know, just, just have, like, that nice shape. And then I'm going to be using this one right here, which is from Mary Kay Satin Lips. The Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick by... Trophy Wife. I got this from um, Ipsy. Excuse the bra. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my makeup look. And overall, I really like how this really turned out. This actually blend my 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 eyes really nicely. Pretty Vulgar is like a really good product. And it's not like too much like, you know, money, I guess. So for $35, it's not too bad. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this palette as well. If you guys have the boxy charm, And... Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.